Well, ladies and gentlemen, the downfall, I guess, of Queen Cheese Larson, Queen of the Soft Cheese, the Brie, the Brie. Oh, anyone like a bacon and brie sandwich? I do. Uh, anyway, so Brie Larson has now been branded a corporate nightmare for promoting NFTs. I did a video on this a while back, actually, because she she previously promoted some MF, uh, NFTs, basically saying, "Oh, I bought this NFT." It was the biggest part of crap I've, I've ever seen. It looked garbage. Um, and all of her fans ended up just deserting her over on Twitter. But she's continued uh, trying to jump on this craze. Not that I understand what NFTs are. Non-fungible token. Sounds like a bunch of crap to me. But, you know, whatever. I prefer things in real life. You know? But welcome to uh, 2022 where... People believe things on, uh, you know, items online selling for thousands, hundreds of thousands, whatever it is, of dollars, uh, is 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 right on. Cool. Absolutely excellent. This is the uh, streaming future that we live in. But anyway, Brie Larson. Uh, weird new post. Brie, you're going down a path I can't follow. A bunch of long-time fans wrote. She's honestly... Yeah, distance in everyone. It's quite funny, actually. Loads of people just called on her out. So I thought we'd dive into this, because it is, again, quite comical. So Brie Larson has attracted fresh criticism from Marvel fans for promoting NFTs. Uh, now, in fairness, this article does actually explain why NFTs are shite, uh, outside of the fact that they are just crap. But they actually go into explaining why. Uh, and I thought this was quite fascinating, because I learned something new. Not that I particularly care, but still. Uh, the Captain Marvel actor recently faced a backlash for revealing on social media that she had bought her own non-fungible token from the Flower Girls collection. Now, this is what I previously did a video on. And it was just it was just a crap little profile picture that she was using. I mean, you could literally just take a screenshot of it and be like, oh, I've got an NFT. I mean, who cares? I don't, oh, I don't get it. I don't get the focus on this NFT nonsense. Anyway, designed by Vivara Alley, the collection in question reportedly donates a portion of all their sales to a range of children's charities. You know what? I'd love to actually see if they do that, because I bet you they probably don't. Or also, you know, it says, a portion. It's like, yeah, okay, well, how much? But anyway, now Larson, Queen of the Cheeses, has posted a tweet of an NFT writing, Welcome to my little corner of the someplace metaverse. Can't wait to welcome you all in soon. Now, I don't know what that means. Obviously, we know what the metaverse is. It's Facebook's uh, desperate attempt at trying to stay relevant. I mean, that is literally what it is. Oh, we're going to make an online space. Oh, we're going to call it the metaverse. Sure, whatever. I mean, you know, I hope, I hope you get swamped with Ugandan knuckles. I really do. Uh, anyway, her fans expressed their disappointment with Larson's post on social media. One fan would write, Brie, you're going down a path I can't follow. By the way, this is context. This is the crappy little NFT that she has as a profile picture. I mean, you can literally just take a photo of that. It's fine. And this is the nonsense. You know, the other nonsense. I mean, is she just rubbing some dude's shoulders? Like, what? Weird. But anyway... The way she got torn apart was very, very comical. And again, it just goes to show the, these people just do it all for money. Like, we've said this before. I've said this before. And people are like, no, you just can't handle people. Actually, do care. Shut up. No, they don't. So another with username, blah, 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 referenced the digital version of Brie, who's shown getting a coffee in the NFT state in Brie. You can get coffee in real life. Yeah, you certainly can. So what? I don't understand the appeal to NFTs. Brie. Really working hard to alienate the fans that stuck by her side all these years. Uh, and someone else said she's a corporate nightmare. Uh, another person uh, called the post weird. While well, one fan urged her to ask Marvel President Kevin Feige for a raise. This is the, the ultimate um, slam dunk. Absolutely hilarious. You can get paid a million billion dollars to be in movies. She doesn't get paid that much. She gets millions, but not billions. Uh, to be in movies and still feel compelled to debase yourself like this. So you can buy a fifth house or whatever. There's an emptiness in the soul that cannot be filled by material wealth. Only prayer. Prayer won't do it either, mate, to be fair. Not going to lie. Uh, but, you know, whatever floats but you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, NFT's been... So this is, what, this is why NFT's are shit, apparently. And I didn't know. I mean, they're just shit anyway, but this is the other reason. 
Um, apparently they're bad for the environment, which is new to me. So the controversy stems from the underlying blockchain technology that supports NFTs, which is a form of an online ledger that also enables cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. So in order to exist, cryptocurrencies and NFTs require a network of electricity consuming computers to power their blockchains. Well, I mean, look, mate, computers don't, you know, they're not powered by bloody potatoes, are they? So obviously, electricity can bloody powered computers. Uh, Bitcoin's uh, environment, environmental impact has been well documented with analysis from the University of Cambridge suggesting that it is networks currently consumes more energy than the whole of the Netherlands. No, it's not, that's not that big. It's not huge, but all right. So another estimate claims that selling an addition of 100 works of NFT has a carbon footprint of over 10 tons of CO2, which is more than the per capita annual footprint of someone in the EU. Uh, including all emissions from industry and trade. Yeah, probably not their smug farts though, is it really? Because these people love to admit a whole bunch of that. Pompous sod. Um, so, again, hilarious. Actually hilarious. You know, if we go here as well, we, we go we go take a look at Queen, Queen Cheese Larson. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Um, she's also taken to like taking photos of herself in saunas recently, which I thought was quite funny. And then it almost, it's almost like she's trolling people, calling all compost enthusiasts. So she's like, hey, welcome to the metaverse. I'm in the metaverse. I'm wrecking your carbon footprint. But hey, let's do some, uh, let's do some composting. It is honestly, and she's... She, it's like she's trolling. If she's trolling, she gets some level of new respect from me. Because that's hilarious. But literally, the immediate follow-up to that, where people are like, yeah, you're bad for the environment, Brie. You're terrible. She's like, hey, we're, we're, we're doing composting. Is she trolling? It is like she's trolling. But anyway, let's have a look at some of these. I mean, this. Th who cares about this? This is such garbage. This is this honestly how people spend their times now. God damn! Like you'd be better spent just having a wank. Oh, honestly. Anyway, um, loads of people. You know, you don't have to keep doing this. You know, NFTs and metaverse is falling fast. Oh, I can't wait to see you there. <laughs> Bro, you're going down a path I can't follow. <laughs> now, Queen, how can I defend this one? No, you ask Queen. <laughs> Shut up. No, I don't care about this. I couldn't give a toss. I think it's a bunch of garbage. You can't even figure out how to all live in the real world so we have to make a fake world that's already gone to shit i'd rather fix the one we have than go to a fake one and play pretend i think it's quite funny to be honest but you know whatever absolutely love your space i can't wait to have mines mm, yes queen Ugh. oh these self-congratulatory douche canoes i hope you got paid whatever for this because that's how much damage you just did to your rep oh keith you're so funny I mean, you're not relevant anymore. Of course I'm respectable. I'm old. Politicians. Ugly buildings and whores all get respectable if they last long enough. Ugh. I'm not mad at you like I'm sure the check cleared, but also... LMAO. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I mean, it's just all sad, isn't it? It's just pathetic. But there you go. Queen Brie, Queen of the Cheeses. The soft cheese Larson. Very, very funny. Uh, they all they all consume. It's like it's the Ouroboros. It's just the snake that consumes itself. Left wing ideology, intersectional ideology, is quite literally just a self consuming pile of nonsense they'll all consume themselves eventually it's just this ridiculous path this cycle of uh, yeah nonsense the, the moment you realize that they're just doing it for cash the better 
No one cares about this stuff. Anyway, like it, uh, I'm not even going to explain it. I don't care. Left without context. Let me know what you think down below. If you're new, do it. Subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care.